Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the Blend tool in Design Sparks Mechanical. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just create a new document, new design. And what we're going to need to do is uh, create three or four new planes. So in order to create one plane, you're going to click this little icon up here that says plane. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now we have one plane here. So we're going to essentially move that and make a copy of that. So go ahead and click on the move tool. Go over to the, the uh, model mode. I'm going to change that. We're going to click on the, on the plane. And while we're dragging up, we're going to hold the control key down. So I want to put this plane up maybe like uh, 1.5 inches. OK. So do the same process. Hold down the control key, key drag up to, uh, to, one, to, to 3. So we'll go 3.0. OK, this should be enough for a simple uh, blend. OK, so when we're done adding those three planes, we want to go ahead and change uh, the, the um, display here, or change the orientation to top, because we want them all to line up. OK, with that done, you want to click on the plane in the uh, structure tree, the first one, and you want to grab your uh, uh, tool, your circle tool. Go back, click on the first plane, then we're going to draw a circle. Okay, now with this circle, what we're going to do is we're going to spin this to make sure it's on the bottom. Okay, now that we know it's on the bottom, we'll go ahead and uh, Change that back to top. We're going to create a little notch in this uh, part right here. So I'll go ahead and um, create that now. Okay, that's good enough there. Make sure that it's on the bottom part. Okay, it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and um, we're going to rotate this little notch around. So we'll go ahead and select it. Hold down the control key to get all the parts that are necessary. Go ahead and select the move tool. And we're going to move the move orientation down to the center of the circle. We're going to come over here to the left and create a pattern. Now we're going to rotate that pattern around as many times as we need. I want to put just a handful of these, so that's probably good right there. So then we'll go ahead and select. Now we need to trim off the parts that we don't need. So we'll go ahead and select the trim tool, trim away tool, and we'll get rid of everything that we don't need. Um, probably could have done that. You could have done that initially at the start. When you revolve the circle, then you wouldn't have to trim all this stuff. It would already be trimmed for you. But it doesn't take that long, so. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get all that stuff trimmed out there that we don't need. Okay. All right, so that drawing is on the first plane. So what we want to do now is change the view here to top so everything lines up. Click on the second plane in the structure tree. Go ahead and get a circle. Um, second plane, click. We want to draw a circle there. And we'll make it to 1.5 or 1.5 inches in diameter. Okay, so go ahead and click off of it. Spin and rotate to make sure it's on the second. Sometimes it doesn't show up on the second plane. So when that happens, I just use the undo. Go back to there. For some reason, sometimes you have to be in the uh, this mode for that to click on over there. So go ahead and click that. Click the second plane, click and drag out, 1.5, click off of it, go ahead and hit spin to make sure it's on the second plane. Okay, it is on the second plane. So we'll go ahead and uh, do the same process, top view, go to the third plane, grab our circle tool, um, make sure it's on the third plane, Click and drag uh, maybe a smaller circle. Okay. 
click off of it, hit the spin tool. Okay, see, there's another thing it didn't do. So I'll undo that. Sometimes this program can be a little temperamental, not to worry. Sometimes you just got to do things twice. Hit the top again, go down to here. Last plane, hit the circle tool, click on it again just to make sure. Draw a smaller circle, click off of it, hit the spin tool, make sure it's where it needs to be. Okay, so now that that is where we need to be, we have our three planes. So we're going to go ahead and click on the mode up here and go down to the 3D mode. Okay, so now what we want to do is select each one of these items, hold the control key down, get the second one, hold the control key down, get the third one. Now right up here underneath uh, this little area by file is a, is a um, oh I'm sorry, it's over here. Um, next to the fill tool, there's a little command called blend. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And then when you like the blend that you've just uh, produced, you want to go ahead and click the check mark. So if you don't click the check mark, it'll go back to how it was before the blend. So go ahead and click that. Okay, and now we can basically turn off these planes because we don't need those anymore. And just keep the one solid filled. So this is a part we just created. We'll go ahead and spin that around, take a look at it. Doesn't look too bad. Now, if we want to make this hollow, we can go ahead and go up here to the shell command. Click in here. Uh, 0.125 might be too big, so we'll have to go 0 0.0625. Maybe make a smaller shell. Okay, hold on one second there. Shell. Point oh, it's doing its own thing. Give it a second here. Okay, so point oh six two five. Go ahead and try that out. No, it still keeps wanting to go back to point six two five. Point oh six two five. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, so just needed to be a little bit smaller dimension. We'll go ahead and spin that. Now we have kind of a useful little cone here. Maybe this could be used as a speaker stand. Um, okay, um, that's a little tutorial on how to use the um, blend tool and also how to use the shell tool in Design Sparks Mechanical. I thank you for watching and hopefully you found something useful out of this video.